Welcome to 60 Second Civics, the daily podcast of the Center for Civic Education. I'm Mark Gage. In 1735, John Peter Zinger was charged with printing seditious libels of William Cosby, the highly unpopular governor of the New York colony, in the New York Weekly Journal, a newspaper founded to oppose Cosby. At trial, Zinger did not dispute that he had written allegedly libelous words. The judge therefore instructed the jury that it must return a guilty verdict based on the facts. The jury disregarded the judge's instructions. Instead, it returned a verdict of not guilty, as Zinger's lawyer had urged it to do. The jury apparently was influenced by the story of a courageous jury in London in 1670 that had refused to find William Penn guilty for preaching Quaker religious doctrine even though the Quaker faith was then illegal in England. The jury's verdict in Zinger's case is one of the most famous examples of what is known as jury nullification. Jury nullification means a verdict of not guilty, despite overwhelming proof that the defendant committed a particular act, because the jury believes that the law making the act a crime is immoral or wrong. That's all for today's podcast, 60 Second Civics, where civic engagement only takes a minute.